so consider it. A high school senior graduating with honors has a dream to cure Alzheimer's disease, and he's been accepted into two prestigious universities. But he says at this point, he'll have to turn them down. He is an undocumented immigrant and doesn't qualify for a penny of financial aid. As CBS4's Natalia Zaya shows us, he and his teacher are striving to overcome that obstacle. High school senior Giancarlo Tejeda has a secret that sets him apart from most of his classmates. He is an undocumented immigrant. It wasn't something that I really liked talking about. He was three when his parents brought him from Colombia to South Florida. As he got older, he realized that his citizenship status could stop him as he pursued a career. He threw himself into his studies. Back to our headquarter buildings. He's graduating magna cum laude in the top 8% of his class, and he commutes two hours a day to attend Miami Lakes Educational Center to earn a certificate in computer systems. It was a fail safe. I, like, I, wanted, I didn't want to be stuck. But IT is not his dream. He wants to study biomedical engineering to cure Alzheimer's disease, inspired by his own grandmother. He's been accepted into New York University and the University of Florida. But as an undocumented immigrant, Giancarlo doesn't qualify for financial aid. Even though these are great colleges, how am I going to pay for them? But here is a kid who is so incredibly talented and so bright and has all of these opportunities. And not only is it that he can't, um, that he doesn't have federal aid, he can't even get loans. Giancarlo's teacher, Neda Borges, sent letters to Congress, the media, anyone who would listen to his story. Well, what I'm hoping is that there are enough people in the community that see him as part of our community, uh, that see his American dream and want to help him realize it. Though Giancarlo won't receive financial aid, he is determined. It does seem like a big obstacle that I do have to overcome. Giancarlo only has until May 1st to make this huge decision and let NYU and UF know whether he will be going there. He says at this point he'll have to answer no. He started a GoFundMe account for financial help. If you'd like to help, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. In Miami Lakes, Natalia Zaya, CBS4 News.